On this video, I would like to teach you 10 most useful flare moves that you can do behind the bar. And the best part about it, that you can learn it in just one hour. Yes, it's that easy. You can spend only 60 minutes to learn the entire routine. So that it definitely will help you to stand out behind the bar, impress your guests and make more tips. You ready? Let's do it. So there is no experience needed. Absolutely anyone can learn this routine. I'm not going to explain in this tutorial uh, what working flare is. So you can just download for free a copy of the video where I explain in details what exactly working flare is. But um, it, I'm going to show you how to build really easy mixed drink. So here's all items and tools that we will be using. We will need a half full bottle, any shape. So I'm using pretty good shape right now, but you can take literally any bottle for this move. Then we'll use one pour spot, professional metal pour spot, one straw, just the ice scoop, one shaker, one glass, and any mixers and any bottles. Also, we will need just one slice of lime and a napkin. That's pretty much it. So, and here's a full routine. There you go. And now let me explain it to you step by step. All right, guys, it was really, really easy. Please pay attention on everything what I tell you and you will learn this routine really quick. As you notice, we start just with regular napkin trick. Basically, you can use any beverage napkin and then just make sure to hold it right there on that corner. So basically, if that's a napkin, just hold it right here. And try to make sure, like, use your wrist only. Don't go with full hand. So, and try to do regular spin. Hold it not so high, just like this. One, and uh, drop it on the top of the bar. Try it for a few times. There you go. One, two. It should be really easy if you can do it with a uh, napkin. Try to switch them because sometimes they just different shape or too light. But you should be able to do it with any napkin. So, try to do it a few times. Make sure that it's not like this. So try to give good rotation and also try to stay as close to your bar top as possible because let's say if you do far away, you just might miss it. And so stay close. The first step will be just rotate and toss it like this. Next step, also really easy. Try to spread your fingers a little bit, not too much. So just like this, relaxed hand and then toss it flat, just like this. Place it on top of your fingers and, and put it on top of the bar. So, one, two. Try it for a few times. One, two. There you go. One, two. Next step, it will be just our complete move. Basically, what you need to do is as soon as you throw a napkin, you start rotating and don't let it fly for too long. As soon as you let it go, try to bump it and put it on top of the bar. So, basically, you combine move number one with move number two. So, this will be second. And that will be first and now it's all together one and two really easy right so pay attention so here's a little mistake that you actually might do don't try to stop napkin on top of your fingers because it's really hard it is much much harder than to put it upside down right away because i see most of my students they like trying to stop and then put it there it's much harder so just just bump it right away one and two there you go, and now we move to the next move. If you notice, I didn't teach you really hard moves where I throw glass behind the back or anything like this. All moves in this routine, they, they really easy. Take it with your left hand. It could be any cup. It could be plastic or a bigger cup, anything you wanna use to build your drink. So basically you take it with the left hand and here's the exchange. You gotta change it right behind your head, right here. So I don't know why, but most of my students trying to change it right here. It doesn't look that good. So basically try to change it behind the head and then behind the back and like this, hold it. So let me show you from behind one more time. Left hand exchange to right hand and go exchange left and get ready to put ice. Really easy. Just in case, watch it one more time in slow motion.
So next will be move number three. Uh, we need to put ice inside our glass. So we fill it up completely. And here's the thing. Make sure uh, to do this move. It's a rotation like this. So one, two. Make sure that your whole hand is working. So you do kind of circle like this. One, two. Don't try to use just your wrist because if you're gonna use wrist, you might lose few pieces, you see? So it's your hands working like this. There you go, one more time in slow motion. Ice. Boom. And you place it on the top of the bar. I would try to go with just a teen for right now to try it a few times. Basically like this, pretend that you put ice and then do, like it takes maybe like five tries for my students and then they realize that it's not just wrist, it's actually a whole hand is working like this. One and circle, just to do, try to do it a few times. So put ice. And there's a full circle, let's put it on the top of the bar. There you go. So now you have your eyes. Next move will be just a um, uh, teen. This move you're gonna be using a lot. I will try to get you so you will spend a little time doing it. Basically, you will need to hold your teen like this with two fingers, with middle finger and with your thumb. And then try to rotate, uh, left, right. Try to rotate like this, one, two, one, two. And now here's what you need to do. Basically, you need to do half of the spin. Watch this. Like this. It's not that hard, actually, so you just need to try to get used to it. It's all your fingers. Here is the difference, actually. Here is when your wrist is working. And um, it's compared to first move, where it's just your hand. So like this. This is a, the difference. You see, I take my team, like this, with only two fingers. And then I do one, two, one, two. So, that was really easy. Next. All you need to do is just to take your bottle from well. It could be any bottle. And then um, we're gonna use reverse grip like this. This probably will be the most challenging part of this routine because uh, next move is a little tricky. But again, it's all just, it will, take, it will take just a few minutes to learn it because it's not as hard as let's say bomb or stall or anything. It's just a simple rotation where your wrist's working. So it's gonna look like this. Left hand, try to rotate your chin like this. And then use your right hand where you have reverse grip bottle and then you try to do like this. One, two, three. Easiest would be you don't hold it completely, don't hold it too strong. So try to hold it with just two fingers like this. So let me show you one more time. One, two, and three, four. And now all you will need to do is just basically you hold chin in the left hand and bottle on your right hand and you would have to try to spin like this. One, two, one, two. You see how my hand working? One, two, one, two, and finish with a pour. So now we take bottom up, two fingers, and then we add bottle, and that's where we start. Like this, one, two, three, four. It's just like a little exercise. It's super easy, but it's one of the most visual moves that you will be, will be doing. And it's super safe. You're not gonna spill, you're not gonna drop anything because it looks good, but it never even releases your hands. So this is not like any, any hard moves. Try, try it for a few times. I guarantee it will take you just five minutes. Three, four. And then you can finish like this with a pour. One, two, and then you start pouring. And here as well, you will need to grab your team with only uh, this part of hands like this. You will have to kind of squeeze it. You would have to kind of hold it tight like this, just with, with like three fingers basically. So here's the grip. Let me show you a little bit closer. So it's like this. One, and you grab it. There you go. So you hold it with the three fingers. And once you pour um, enough liquid, you just bring closer to your cup and then you pour it inside like this. Of course, right now I put a little bit too much just because I wanted to show you actually how pour works. So one, two. You can actually put it maybe on left, but sometimes if you have like any items at the bar, I prefer to just um, kind of put it right there in front. Okay, and now you just separate them, put tea on the side because we're still gonna be using it for garnish, and put our bottle on You also can use any type of bottle for this move. Basically, you hold it like this um, on, on the top of neck, and then in your left hand, and then you grab from well, and you take it with your right hand. So you do a little swipe through, 
and then where you grab again, you, you toss it and you have to grab a net. It's not like, sometimes there's an option, people like take it like this and pour it. That would be the easy version. But I, I want you to guys do this. One, two, that's it. Try it for a few times. Watch it one more time in slow motion. There you go. So next will be one of the most popular and one of my favorite moves that I do behind a bar every day. So you would have to do rotation. One, half circle, change the grip, and start pouring. So pay attention guys, this move is, um, you can do it, um, so it's, it's really important to do this move like really wide, like this. So you see, that's where you're both wrist and hand working. So it's like a circle, one, and make sure not to hold it like this because you might spill. It's just a little angle. So, and it looks much, much better when you do white. So see the difference. Let's say I would do it really white and nice, or like when you just start, you're kind of not confident and you just grab the viral and you kind of try to do this. So this doesn't look good. I would highly recommend to learn right, right away. So one, two, super easy, right? Watch it one more time in slow motion. There you go. Uh, next move, it will be just our regular pour, where you pour enough liquid, but pay attention what's gonna happen next. Uh, it's one of my favorite cuts. So basically, when you have already enough liquid, you do a little cut, where you cut a little this way. So basically, you do this, and then cut. So once you, once you finish your cut, your bottle is pretty much right here in the middle, and then you go a little further, then with your left hand, you take a bottle in the middle, do complete circle and put it in a well. Let me show you in action how it looks with full bottle. Again, you pour and here's your cut. Make sure that you cut without any spills. I don't wanna see like, you know, rough cuts where you will see a liquid on the side. So make sure to do it really nice and you're finishing. Then your left hand take bottle, one, one circle, and put it back into the well. Let me show you really quick. There you go. It actually is really easy, but you can use it absolutely with any bottle. That's so let me show you one more time in slow motion. Boom. Make sure to do it really, really clean, guys, because I don't want you to spill or drop anything. Okay, and our next move will be a uh, garnish. So once you finish your drink and it's nice and it's, uh, uh, it looks good, then you take one slice of lime and then you place it on the top of your fingers like this. And then the same move we do on the right hand with just fingers, one, two. We put in a position team where bottom up and then you would have to throw a little bit. So don't throw too much, start with just a little and then you would have to swipe and then kind of catch your varnish inside a team. So like this. I know that sometimes like my students struggle and when they catch it, they keep going and they can't get used to just to do this. One, two, so like this. One, two. So watch it one more time in slow motion. Okay, gotcha. So basically you catch it first time and then you keep going and that's where you switch. So you were in a comfortable position just to put it on top of your drink. And a very last move would be, will be with a straw. So there's a quite a few options. You can just do this move, let's say the easiest version, where you take it and then you throw flat, catch it and put it inside a drink. Or you can just do single. You will uh, take it with um, uh, two fingers and then you do half spin, catch it, and put it on the drink. So, or it is the hardest one that I want to show you at the beginning of this video, where you take straw and then where you do actually full throw, like this, one, two, and put it inside a drink. So, one, two, and put it inside a drink. Um, so, if you're not comfortable, just try to do the easy version. There's nothing wrong, it's still gonna look good. So you do the full throw, put it inside a drink, and place it on the top of a uh, napkin.